What? Okay, okay, I have to pause you. Yeah. Yo, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Fahim Mushi. I'm a vocal coach, voice teacher, and also a singer. And guys, today, in this video, we're gonna be doing a reaction and maybe an analysis of this amazing fingerstyle guitarist by the name Alip Bata, okay? And he's gonna be playing Sweet Child of Mine by the band Guns N' Roses, which we all know, which we've heard of many, many times. I actually have never ever reacted to a fingerstyle video on my channel before, so this is actually the first time I'm gonna be reacting to a fingerstyle cover, okay? Which I'm super duper excited about. Um, I got a lot of requests for this one, and I've been meaning to do it, but guys, I'm sorry for not doing it. I'm a little bit late in the party. A couple of my reaction buddies already reacted to it, and they told me that, dude, you gotta check it out. You gotta check this guy. He's he's a beast. He's a legend. And I'm like, okay, all right, all right. I mean, like, since you know, y'all have been telling me to do it. Since some of my reactor buddies who reacted to it, you know, are telling me to do it, I'm like, okay, you know what? Why not just go ahead and do it? And in fact, as a matter of fact. I will be also checking out a few of his other videos that I got per request, okay, which I'm super duper excited about. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to uh, get right into it, but as per usual, if you guys are tuning here for the first time and you guys are already enjoying my content, then make sure to smash that thumbs up button, which is going to help the YouTube algorithm to push up my content more so that, you know, I it helps me to make more contents for you guys, okay, it gets pushed out more and whatnot. And um, if you haven't already, then go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you do decide to subscribe to my channel, then make sure to click on that notification bell and click on all so that every time I upload a new video or I post something on the YouTube community tab or I just share something on the YouTube story, then y'all get notified about it, okay? So be sure to do that. Show me some love, show me some support. Now, I also have social medias where you can follow me. I will attach them here, my social media handles, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Um, I mainly share videos regarding with singing, you know, talking about technique, artistry, that kind of a thing. So if you guys are interested for that, or if you guys just want me to show some love, show some support, then go ahead, give a like, give a follow to my pages. I would really, really appreciate the love and the support. Now, last but not least, I am a voice teacher and I give singing lessons pretty much every single day via Skype, Facebook, Discord, and also Zoom. So if you guys are interested for voice lessons, whether you want to improve your singing technique or artistry or a combination of both, or if you guys just want me to critique your singing, then head over to my Fiverr account, which I have a little link on the description. Now, with all of that promotional stuff being said, let's go ahead and react and analyze this amazing fingerstyle guitarist and see what he did with this song. How is he doing that without actually using his fingers? He's just hammering on the guitar, I think. And then legato, pulling. Wow. He's also playing the bass. Okay, okay, I have to pause here. I have to make a few comments here. So, um, first of all, he has the capo on the third fret, and he's singing in the key, or he's playing the song in the key of F major. The original was in the key of C sharp major, and this is in F major, right? Very interesting, very interesting. And he's just hammering on the fretboard, and he's not even using uh, his uh, right hand to actually pluck the strings. So, um, just a disclaimer, I'm not any guitar expert or anything, I just know a few things and that's kind of like what I'm saying here and that's kind of like what I'm basing my analysis from. So it's very interesting and um, he's killing it, man, and he's also playing the bass and stuff. Wow, let's see what happens. Really awesome, really awesome, wow. Oh. <laughs> What? Oh. Oh my 
my god. Okay, I'm gonna rewind that so that you guys can enjoy it without me singing like shit, okay? <laughs> He's really good, okay? Like, he is very, very good. I can see why this video has over a million views within such a short amount of time. I mean, wow, this guy has some serious talent. Wow, bless him. Oh, I love the bends. Slides. Oh my god, that is so tasty. Oh my god. Like, he is pretty much singing the whole song with his guitar. And by whole song, I'm talking about he's playing the lead, he's playing the bass, he's playing the drums, he's playing the rhythm, he's doing every single thing with just his guitar, okay? That is some serious talent right there. Wow, God bless him, God bless him. Amazing, amazing. And, and look at his setup, okay? He's just sitting in his room, no fancy equipment, no whatsoever, and he's just, you know, that's pure talent right there. That's pure talent. Gosh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Love that. Nice. So I think he went to the uh, second uh, kind of verse to the kind of bridge section. I think he kind of skipped the song and because this is a big song and the video is only less than uh, four minutes. So maybe that's the case. Let's see. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps like it's like I can almost imagine um, Axel Rose even Miles Kennedy singing that song because I've heard him sing the song a lot uh, like in the live and I can kind of like imagine in my head that they are singing that song in that key so um, that's actually very high like uh, if you sing it at the fifth octave then it's it's up there she's got a smile it's up there or you can sing it in the lower octave so that would be a C4 so she's got a smile that it seems to me you know it's gonna be somewhere there so really awesome really awesome wow god bless him man god bless him maybe i could um make another video where i actually sing in this key uh maybe in the lower range just to kind of like get the groove and stuff so i think that's gonna be interesting i don't know maybe i can do it let me know what you guys think <laughs> all right let's go He has so much soul at that part. Let me just listen to that part again. Oh, those full note pitch bends and half note pitch bends are really. Oh, I already got goosebumps, but I don't think you guys can see that because I don't really have a good camera. It's a, it's, it's a Logitech C22 Pro webcam, and that's the best webcam I could find. I might have to actually get a better camera, right guys? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but guys, seriously, I am really, really liking this guy. Wow, he is an absolute guitar beast. Okay, let's go. The solo. Yeah. God.
Okay, that's a that's a very cool thing he just did there because at that part of the solo it gets really fast in the original one. So um, of course doing that in the acoustic guitar, like even if he can do it, um, it's just gonna sound like it's just it's just gonna change the way that he's um, sing, uh, playing this song because he has this very beautiful soft kind of cool jazzy kind of like a spanish kind of vibe going on okay i'm not the, that much familiar with this so i might be messing up the terms here but I, hopefully you guys understand what i'm saying here whereas that one the original one it has a more of a rock vibe i mean it is a rock song guns and roses is a rock 80s classic rock band um so they have that vibe going on here whereas this one it's different so that's why he kind of changed this part out and i'm seeing that we are almost done with the video so just go back a little bit just go back a little bit and enjoy the solo. I, I'm really liking the solo. Wow. Really good. <laughs> gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice. An artificial harmonic there. I think that was a G there. Yeah, a G4 roughly. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, you know, I'm not an expert on guitarists. That's not my field. I know a few things here and there, like, you know, I pretty much mentioned it. Capo on the third fret, he's using finger style. Beautiful, the song is based in the key of uh, F major. And then, you know, that kind of solo part, it becomes a G minor because the key changes a little bit, but Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Really enjoyed it. So thank you guys uh, for the request. Really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be checking out more of his stuff, okay? So keep an eye on my channel for that. And um, yeah, let me just go ahead and wrap this video here. So there you go, guys. That's my reaction and my analysis of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and my analysis, because if you did, then make sure to smash that thumbs up button, which is gonna help the YouTube algorithm to push on my content more so that I get to make more contents for you all. So be sure to do that. And if you haven't already, then go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you do decide to subscribe, then make sure to click on the notification bell and click on all so that every time I upload a new video or I post something in the community tab or I share something on my YouTube story, y'all get notified, okay? So be sure to do that. Show me some love, show me some support. Let me know down in the comments what do you guys thought of my reaction and my analysis. And if you guys want me to do more Ali Bata reaction videos, then let me know down in the comments and I will try to get them back to you as soon as I can. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.